Hello everyone, welcome to Marine Technical School. This is Deva Brotha Mojumdar. Today I am going to discuss about selective catalytic reactor, NOx reduction system. Please stay along with the full video for your better understanding. This is the selective catalytic reactor diagram. In short, it is SCR. So, this system is used for the NOx reduction system. First of all, we need to familiarize with the diagram. This is the exhaust receiver where exhaust is received from the main engine. This is known as vaporizer. So, in this unit, the reducing agent is injected through a injector and the re reducing agent is vaporized in this unit that's why it is called vaporizer as reducing agent also mixed with the exhaust gas in this chamber that's why this chamber is also called mixer that means it is vaporizer or mixer here you can see the SCR reactor unit. This unit, this catalytic reactor is fitted. Normally, the catalytic are made of titanium or aluminium oxides. So, here you can see also the venting arrangement. The function of venting arrangement is to avoid exhaust gas accumulation and shoot formation in the SCR when the system is bypassed. That means during bypass operation, SCR reactor is vented. Here also shoot blow arrangement is fitted which is not shown here. So, shoot blow arrangement is done to prevent the contamination of reactor element. That means, shoot blow is done by the compressed air of 7 bar. Here you can see the this is the turbocharger which receives exhaust gas and out according to the exhaust of main engine the turbocharger this provides scavenge air to the main engine this is turbine side this is compressor side so scavenge air is sucked and passed through the this is the cooler which is sea water cooled sea water in and sea water out this used to cool down the temperature of the scavenger air here it is water mist catcher so function of the wa water mist catcher is to it's used to catches the water droplets or water moisture from the air. This is scavenger air receiver in which scavenger air is received and from this chamber scavenger air is passed to the main engine. Here this is you can see the reducing agent line. This is reducing agent pump. This is injector. Here is reducing as a tank. Here he used the urea as a reducing agent. Ammonia also can be used as a reducing agent. So the amount of reducing agent in this tank will be dependent upon the vessel trading area, the how much distance or how much time the vessel travel in tire 3 area. 
so so the, through this pump the urea is taken from the urea tank and through the injector it is injected into the this unit which is known as vaporizer or mixer you can see this is rsb rbb rtb and cbb all are controlled bulb those bulb and this pump is controlled by scr control unit that means scr control unit controls the function of this bulb and this pump rsb means reactor sealing bulb rbb reactor bypass bulb rtb reactor throttling bulb cbb cylinder bypass bulb so in normal operation we can see the line diagram from the main engine exhaust manifold exhaust is drawn to the exhaust receiver then it can pass through this line also can pass through this line so through this line it comes here into the vaporizer then it can come here in the scr reactor then through this exhaust gas passes through the turbocharger that means exhaust portion is over now you can see this scavenger is drawn from the compressor side through this scavenger is coming here through this scavenger coming to the scavenger manifold of the engine and also scavenger can pass through this cbb this is the normal line diagram so when this diagram works or in which situation which bulbs open or close this is the main question here so whenever the vessel is running in tire 2 area in tire 2 area the time exhaust gas is coming from the main engine and exhaust gas is passes through this bypass bulb that time this rbb is open that means exhaust gas is bypassed reactor bypass is open and exhaust gas is bypassed and passes through the turbocharger and passing out so at that time this bulb is open and this rsb is closed and rtb is closed rsb closed rtb closed and rr pb open exhaust gas coming here and going out so at that time the venting arrangement works so whenever this vessel is running in the tire two areas and rbb works exhaust gas bypasses at time venting arrangement is done so it is done to avoid exhaust gas accumulation and shoot formation in SCR. So whenever the vessel is going to the tire 3 area, that time exhaust gas is passing here, passing here and exhaust through this receiver, exhaust gas through the RSB, exhaust gas passing into the vaporizer and at the initial condition no reducing agent is injected because the pump is not running now so this exhaust gas is passing through this scr reactor and the shoot blow is done now shoot blow is done to prevent contamination of reactor element so shoot blow is done by the compressed air of 7 bar so exhaust is coming through and RTB is slightly open, RTB is slightly open, exhaust gas coming here and going to the out. So whenever the exhaust temperature is 
wrist in between 300 to 350 degree centigrade that means desired exhaust temperature is reached that time scr control unit closes this rbb that time scr control unit closes this rbb and starts this pump starts this urea dosing pump so as urea dosing pump is started this pump draws urea from the tank and injected through the injector and the urea is vaporized and mixed with the exhaust gas at this chamber so urea is mixed as urea is mixed with the exhaust gas it can flow with the exhaust gas so now exhaust urea with the exhaust gas is flow to the this unit so in this unit the chemical reaction is occurred with the help of catalytic reactor that means catalytic reactors are titanium or aluminum oxides so which chemical reaction occurs this chemical reaction occurs you can see the chemical reactions here nitric oxide plus urea plus oxygen this converts into nitrogen plus water plus carbon dioxide that means in this chamber the nox is converted into nitrogen so in this chamber the nox is converted into nitrogen gas also carbon dioxide is produced here so as this bulb is closed full exhaust gas coming here here from this line to this line this line and through this rtv exhaust gas going out and according to the exhaust gas flow the scavenger is drawn then through the cooler scavenger is going into the scavenger receiver and the scavenger passing through the main engine and this bulb is closed so no scavenger cannot be bypassed so scavenger is coming to the main engine so now the question is when this cylinder bypass bulb opens or what is the function of this bulbs so at low load at low load when the vessel is running at low load for a prolonged period that time the exhaust gas temperature will be low so if the exhaust gas temperature is low that time urea cannot decompose to ammonia and unable to absorb nox so that's why the lower exhaust temperature is undesirable so to achieve the exhaust temperature high this cylinder bypass bulb will open so when this cylinder bypass bulb will open some scavenger will bypasses through this line and going out with the exhaust gas as some scavenger is going bypassed through this line and going out so scavenger pressure of this line is decreased so again i am telling as some of the scavenger is bypassed through this line and mixed with exhaust gases and going out so that's why the scavenger pressure of this line is decreased so as the scavenger of this line is decreased the exhaust temperature of the outlet is increased so whenever scavenger pressure is decreased the exhaust temperature is increased so at the low load for increasing the exhaust temperature this cylinder bypass bulb is used to open and used to bypass the some scavenger so again i am telling the in short uh, what is the function here this when the vessel is running in tire two area that time exhaust flow is here here and here going out so and that time venting arrangement is done when the vessel is running in tire three area that time the flow is going here going here going here and through this going out 
some exhaust gas will be also bypassed whenever exhaust temperature is reached in the desired temperature in 300 to 350 degree centigrade that time the icr control unit gives signal to this valve and this valve will be closed and the control unit starts the pump and this through this pump urea is injected here and is mixed with the exhaust gas and passes through this reactor and here chemical composition is occurs which converts urea and nox into the nitrogen gas that means nox is converted into nitrogen gas here and exhaust gas is going out so at low load operation some scavenge air is bypassed through the exhaust gas and scavenge air pressure is decreases due to the decrease in scavenge pressure the exhaust gas temperature is increased by this way this maintains the system and maintains the exhaust gas temperature so whenever the exhaust gas temperature is above 500 degree centigrade that time this urea is burned here and unable to absorb nox so the high temperature is undesirable also on the low temperature of exhaust gas the urea cannot decompose into ammonia and unable to absorb nox and the urea will deposit at low temperature urea will deposit and block the exhaust gas piping so the low temperature and high temperature both are undesirable so in this system the nox reduction rate is 90 to 95% 90 to 95 percent and what are the maintenance job carried out in this system we need to clean weekly liquid filter which is fitted in this line and monthly checking the this injector performance and six monthly checking the each of the components like this vaporizer unit or this bulb function is correctly operating or not and also yearly replace the catalyst element inside this reactor and also the clean the cooler of the scavenge air line in a regular intervals so all of my friends i hope all of you get understood and if you have any query please have a comments thank you very much for watching the video please stay with the channel